that like Filipinos are hiding their food from the rest of the world. You can't get Filipino food in the West at least. Yeah. And then you come to the Philippines and there's so much good food. And you're hiding it. <laughs> Why are you Philippines? It? What are you doing? Share your amazing cuisine with the rest of the world. What is up ladies and gentlemen? Flying Kale here with another vlog for you today. I mean I just checked out. This is our very last day in Tagaytay and we are planning on eating some delicious world-renowned Tagaytay Bulalo. Hey! Can't Amy leave without eating. Bulalo. <laughs> Amy has never had Bulalo before so we're gonna look for some Bulalo. Are you saying it right? <laughs> It's quite good. Are you too. excited for your first bulalo? Yeah, I don't know what it is, so. <laughs> I've had it only once before. It will be Amy's very first time. After extensive research on this here little electronic device, we figured out that a legendary bulalo place right here in Tag. Hey! We're matching. Oh yeah, we are color. matching. That's Why'd com you copy me? Completely unintentional. Um, we figured out that the best place is a place called Pamana. It's meant to be a legendary Filipino cuisine restaurant here in Tagaytay. And apparently their bulalo is legendary as well. So that's where we're heading right now. It's a little bit gloomy today, yeah. but uh, it's not bringing us down because the bulalo is going to make this day fantastic. <laughs> Little kids just casually hanging out of the car, <laughs> enjoying the fresh air. And a big old shout out to the newest members of the Skyfarer Club, Emmanuel Cadalzo and Jepoy TV. Thank you guys so much for joining. If you are interested in joining the Skyfarer Club, hit that big blue join button under the video. You get access to loads of exclusive features and live streams and all that good stuff. So go check it out if you're interested. Now on with the bulalo. This tricycle's for sale. Should I buy it and do an epic tricycle trip throughout the Philippines? Comment your opinion below. See, this place is so popular. There's a giant line. One, two, three. number three. Okay, thank you. thank you. There's a waiting list with so many people that's made me even more excited about eating here because now I know it's exclusive. <laughs> In the lobby area, they have a shop where they're selling like loads of really cool things, and I just saw something that I really want. Yes, the alcohol and not the plate because he's uncultured. Wait time is over. It is Ulalo time. To the very top floor. This is so nice, wow. This is the best view ever for lunch. We have a view of Tao Lake and Tao Volcano as we're gonna be eating beautiful Bulalo. I'm so glad we came here. Find the Bulalo. <laughs> We've been going through this menu, and I kid you not, drool is literally dripping down my chin onto the table, because this food looks so good. I thought we decided we'll have one of everything. I want to try everything on this menu, but unfortunately we can't do that, guys. We have decided, Ames, 
on the Bulalo. Bulalo. And the three way adobo, which is like a super famous dish here at Pamana as well. Uh, a three way adobo. Three way adobo. Yeah. We just figured out from the menu that Pamana has branches all over the Philippines Baguio, Makati, Quezon City, Boracay. So check it out, guys. I'm recommending it right now before even eating. Oh, we're just enjoying sitting here in this beautiful little rooftop here at Pamana. Amy's too busy posting pictures on Instagram so she can't give me any attention anymore. <laughs> so I'm just gonna spend time with you guys, all right? This is really such a cool place. This looks amazing. I just gotta start off by saying that it smells incredible. The aroma of the bulalo is just like, yeah. just all over the place and it smells so savory and beefy. I am dying right now. Can we eat or Let's do, do this. I need to stare at it? Amy's first ever bulalo tasting. Oh my gosh. Wow, the flavor is so intense. You can really taste the beef, and I love beef. I can never be a vegetarian, and I'm gonna have a piece of beef. That is really tender. Wow. First bulalo in over a year. Wow, this is so good. It's so savory. Look at that giant piece of juicy beef. Mm. That is so good. Have you had some of this? Yeah. It's so tender, right? It's so tender. It literally just melts. It melts. It literally melts in your mouth the moment you take a bite. Like. This is definitely one of the best soups ever. This is so good. I love it. Mmm. Yeah. Yay, tage te. Here we have proof that this is bone marrow soup. This is the bone. And as you can see, the marrow is missing because it's in our soup. Mmm. That tastes so good. Oh, the soup is so good. I feel like this soup, Bulalo, is so good if you have a cold or you're sick or something like that. Yeah. Next time I'm sick, I expect you to make it for me. Yeah? yeah. I'll use my own bone marrow. <laughs> that golden brown broth. Alright, let's go on to the next dish. There we got the adobo coming. This is the first part of the three part adobo. Check that out. You're gonna love that. I think I'm gonna love that. That looks amazing. It's so crispy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so good. I don't know what it is. Some kind of adobo. So crispy. I feel like Filipinos are hiding their food from the rest of the world. You can't get Filipino food in the West at least. Yeah. And then you come to the Philippines and there's so much good food. And you're hiding it. <laughs> Why are you Philippines? It? What are you doing? Share your amazing cuisine with the rest of the world. Everywhere in the world you have Chinese food, you have Thai food, Vietnamese food. 
Where's the Filipino food? We gotta export that stuff, guys. It's so delicious. The whole world needs to enjoy Filipino food. All right, next up. Can you see my piece and your piece? My piece is better because it's bigger. Wait, is that adobo? Yeah, chicken. It tastes different to the other adobos. But it's three different types of adobo. And the very last adobo for today. Beautiful, juicy pork adobo. Pamana. Pamana. Philippines. Philippines. Tagaytay. Tagaytay. Filipino food. Filipino food. Looking at dessert caught in the act. So what did you get? I got what you wanted. Okay, I like that. Palita? Never had that before. We got palita for dessert, which is a classic Filipino dessert, according to the menu. And I do trust the menu. So I got Filipino coffee. a true Filipino Batangas coffee. Mm. So much caffeine, I love it. And Amy has some true Filipino sequate. What is sequate? Sequate just means chocolate oh. in Filipino. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Ooh, How is it? It's good. That is actually delicious. Wow. What a natural choco yeah. flavor, right? Really natural. It's not too creamy. It's so good. Yeah. It tastes very different to like other hot chocolates I've had. And we have a classic Filipino dessert. It looks like a snowflake. It's so beautiful. And you just stuffed it in your mouth. Mm. That's delicious. Coconut flavor. Wow. Mm. It's rice cake. Oh yeah, I think it's like glutinous rice with coconut so and sesame seeds. I love that. Really good. Really good. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This was an epic last experience here in Tagaytay. Day. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Handle being displayed right here, right now. I'm posting loads of pictures and stories on there. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel and hit that bell. And then, ladies and gentlemen, I shall see you guys in the next vlog. Peace out. Take it easy.